welcome to another 3d comparison video this is a follow-up to my original video regarding stl files that are imported within blender at their true scale so i received this comment if you export do you have to change it back for 3d printing so if you are not familiar with the topic of the video when you import stl files in blender they will be imported by default in meters and that is because within blender default scene the default unit setup is set to meters and stl files they have an arbitrary system they are not at true scale so when they are loaded within a software you will need to specify what are the intended dimensions of that so for the case study over here i made use of uh, a key i will follow up with the same uh, model so i already have it over here open is the same key i will leave the link in the description so let's get started as you recall from that other video within blender in a default scene if we are gonna go over here to scene properties we're gonna have the unit system set by default to metric and that means that if i will import that stl file so i have that already in downloads key will be this copper key we're gonna see that object will not be imported at the true scale and the key will be quite large so we see that is the default cube from a blender that has two meters and we see that this key is quite large now if i'm going to import the same model into prusa slicer for example i'm going to go over here file we're going to see that we have import and we have the possibility to import stl files but also import stl files we see over here imperial units i'm going to go with the first one since this this was created within metrics and i will go all the way to downloads so let's see that should be within quick access downloads copper key stl and this is that the file so we see this is the size of the object over here uh, we see the dimension so this is set in uh, millimeters and this is the original key i also gonna place the key on uh, on this face so have it positioned like that okay now if i will jump into blender and for the second key that will be exported i'm gonna slightly change the geometry to see it better i'm gonna press one on numpad to go to this view afterwards tab to enter edit mode and now I will want to go into X-Ray in order to select all the vertices within this section. And I will just grab those and move them up on Z. So like this. We're going to see that it will be stretched over there, but that shouldn't be any problem. And now I will select that object. I will go to File, Export, STL. And I have the possibility again to only selection only. So I only want the key to be exported and I don't want the default cube to be added to that STL file. And I will call this key. So simple key. And for the scale, I will go with one. I have that exported. The file is already been converted. Go back to Prusa Slicer, File, Import, STL. And this is on desktop and the one that I save now is key. As we can see, it was created at this time. So have that imported. And we're going to see that the key size is again at the correct scale. Even though within Blender, I see that the key is quite massive. And if I will go with the measure tool, I can enable some snapping over here. I will want to snap on vertice. I will see that in Blender, the key had 57 meters, roughly. But over here, we're going to see that the size will be in millimeters, so 75 millimeters. And again, we can go with this in order to align it. And I will slightly move it over here. So currently for me, Prusa is set to Ender 3, as we can see over here. 
And if I'm gonna go with an edit preset, we're gonna see the bed shape for this is uh, 225 by 225. So the objects are loaded at their correct scale, even though in Blender they were so large. So I hope you find this video useful. And I also wanna thank RG and us for, for his comment regarding this video. That's it for now. Here are some more videos that you might like if you enjoy this content. Also, I will add a subscribe button if you consider to, to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.